good February 16th yep 16th uh, it's Tuesday and we got some yards to do we're gonna do uh, three yards today maybe well may, we're gonna do two yards today maybe three and then even a slider maybe four I don't know um, we'll just have to see but hey listen I got a tip for you guys a money-saving tip um, for all you guys and gals out there that shave with a razor, although I don't, you know, I, I shave usually every two or three days. Um, I joined the Dollar Shave Club. So it's dollarshaveclub.com and you pick your package and the way it is is, uh, well, don't pick your package. I mean, if you pick your package, make sure nobody's looking at you while you're picking your package because that's not cool at all. But, um, Although some people just do it. They just stand there picking their package while they're in conversation. It's like, have you no class? But anyways, I guess, I mean, if you got the itchies, they make powder for that, though. But that's not important. Um, what is important is my story. And it's my story, so I'm going to tell it like I want. And my story goes like this. DollarShaveClub.com um, I did the $6 package. And the way it is, is once a month, on the first of the month, um, they're gonna send you a box free shipping for the six dollar and the nine dollar package the six dollar package gives you one handle and four blades and the handles a pivot handle and on those four cartridges those four blade cartridges they're four blades each so you're getting a four blade cartridge you're getting four of those once a month and you get one handle to start and then the subsequent months you just get the cartridges so for six bucks that includes shipping you get the pivot handle and you get the four cartridges um, and then in 30 days they're gonna ship you out another four cartridges and it's six bucks and that's it no shipping so every 30 days or on the first mine's on the first I don't know if everybody's is on the first but mine's on the first so on the first of March I have a box coming to me I don't have to do nothing I don't have to say nothing it's coming to me it takes about two days to get to me from this last time that it shipped and for six dollars that includes everything it's six bucks it just comes right out of your debit or credit card whatever you give them to, to you know on you pay six bucks you get four blades so me and my wife are extremely thoroughly pleased with the performance of these blades I mean they're really really nice um, they're really really sharp and um, I recommend it now they have like I said they have three packages the first package is two bucks a month you get I believe two cartridges every 30 days for two bucks a month plus I think it's like two or three bucks shipping um, and it's not a pivot head and I think it's only two blades per cartridge and it's, it's not a pivot head so I like the pivot heads I just think it makes it a little bit easier to, to work so um, you got a two dollar option you got a six dollar option then you got a nine dollar option the nine dollar option is I think you get six cartridges a month and they're five blades per cartridge instead of my option, which is four cartridges a month, four blades per cartridge. So you got a two, a six, and a nine. The six and a nine includes shipping. The two does not. All right, and then you can later on, um, you can order extra handles. So like this order that's coming in March, I went online, went into my account, and I ordered an extra handle, pivot handle for the four blade cartridge. So that way my wife has one for her legs and I have one for my face and we're not, you know, we don't have to sit there and, and um, change cartridges out because, I mean, whatever. But, you know, you don't use your own blade, you know what I'm saying? So, um, there you go. You can sit there and order a separate handle only. So that's what we did. I think it was five bucks. Yeah, it was five dollars. So March 1st, eleven dollars will come out and they're gonna send me um, four new blades and a handle. So that was five bucks. And that includes shipping. So that's a pretty darn good deal. So right now, this month, in the past like week and a half to two weeks, we're on the second cartridge. And me and my wife right now are just sharing the same cartridge, sharing the same handle, whatever. I really don't care. But I mean, it's, it's kind of nice that, like for her, she gets in the tub and she wants to shave her legs. If I just shaved my face and the razor's not in the tub and it's a pain in the ass for her, so it'd be nice for her to have her own in the tub, you know what I mean? Just a little bit more convenient, I guess. So that's the deal with that. So we're going to, um, we're going to have that shipped to us um, 
free, basically, you know, not free, but um, automatically, I should say. Yeah, automatically. It'll be $11 March 1st, and it's being sent to us. So that's dollarshaveclub.com. And like I said, we're on our second cartridge, and we really, really, really like it. And it's, and I can't use disposable cheap blades. I just can't. It'll tear me up. These Dollar Shave Club ones, I can shave with nothing. I can just wet my face with some hot water, and I can take the blade and go right through my whiskers. And I don't have any problems. So um, dollarshaveclub.com. All right, I'm going to get some gas, and then we got to go. Uh, we got to mow some yards today, so let's do some filming. All right. Be right back. Okay, so we're at Kroger, and I just paid. You see that video I did a couple weeks ago, 61 cents a gallon. Um, don't laugh at me in my granny glasses. Okay, I just paid a dollar 28 a gallon, uh, and I put 20.5 gallons in. So my truck, I, I filled up my truck. I topped off my zero turn. I topped off my 20 inch or 21 inch, whatever, and then I topped off the can. So 20.5 gallons today, topped everything off, and $26, 1.289 a gallon, Let's see if that shows, 1.289 a gallon, so $1.28, $1.29 a gallon for gas, running a business is freaking awesome, love it, love it, love it, love it, so anyways, um, I just saw the idiot who stole my yard sign just pulled up. <laughs> oh man, I love haunting this guy. But and he knows that I know because I called him and he didn't have the balls to call me back. But yeah, funny story. Um, I had yard signs up in certain areas and he happens to live in uh, in that neck of the woods. And so what I did was I put yard sign up in the in the common grounds. I mean, I'm not. A, jerk I'm not gonna put it at his house or in his neighbor's house or anything like that I mean come on um, and I was out working I was out pressure washing and I get a call from a unknown number you know whatever it's not one that's saved so I'm like okay maybe a prospect so I answer the phone and the guy says yeah I got your number off of uh, off of your yard sign what's the name of your business again I didn't catch it and I was like oh it's trimmers oh okay trimmers hey um, what's your availability today can you can you come on by or are you busy I was like, well, I'm on a job now, and that's what he wanted to hear. But I said, well, I'm on a job now, um, and it's gonna take me the rest of the day, so I mean, I can get together with you tomorrow if you want me to take a look at something. Okay, great, I'll give you a call back. Okay, so he hangs up the phone. So about, I don't know, an hour later, I drive by to go get my yard sign, because I don't leave them out overnight, and sure enough, my yard sign's gone. So I'm like, huh, well, that's kind of odd. So then I get to thinking, I'm like, well, Who's this guy that called me? Just, I don't know why, but you know. So I looked the number up on, on uh, Google and it it's a number that's, I guess used to be an old number for his business. Now he's got a new number on, on all his yard signs. But when you, when you did a cross of the phone number, it came up to his first name, last name, his address, his business name, everything. Um, so wow, I mean, what are the odds that my competitor called me and within an hour, my yard sign's gone. And the only thing that my yard sign didn't tell him that he asked me was what was the name of my business? See, my yard signs don't have my business name on it. Remember, my, all it says is house wash, it says the prices, and it says the phone number real big, that's it. So with that said, the only thing that he could really ask me is the name of my business. Seth? freaking shit bag so I called him I called the number and I was like hey blank I said his name I was like hey how's it going man you know uh, what a coincidence that I, that I got a call from you today about uh, my availability and sure enough within an hour my uh, my yard sign's gone you know anything about that because I don't believe in coincidences do you why don't you give me a call back let's talk about it and I hung up the phone I never heard from him that was about a month ago I never heard from him I would have called back if I was him I would have called back and I would have, you know, I would have been like, hey, dude, my shit gets stolen too, man. So, I mean, you got to have thick skin and suck it up. It wasn't me. You know, even if it was him, you know, he can he can at least try to save his reputation. You know, I mean, he flat out knows it. He's he's flat out busted. Uh, so, 
you know, whatever. And he's probably going to watch this video. Um, and that's good. You know who you are. So, whatever. It's a small world, man. And, and, and it's a very small community, you know, whether it's the lawns or it's house washing. We, you know, eventually our paths will cross. And, uh, you know, I'm not threatening. I'm not saying I'm going to do something. But, you know, it's just you know what you did and you know that I know. So, you know, you, you're a spineless twerp, plain and simple, stealing other people's yard signs. <laughs> That's just scum. Uh, so we're gonna run to Walmart real fast here and I need to get a new uh, garbage can, a uh, nice heavy duty garbage can for this season. Uh, last year's garbage can finally blew out on me from dragging it across the ground and wearing it out and putting stuff in it you're not really supposed to put in it. <laughs> So uh, the handles broke from being too heavy. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pick myself up a new garbage can and then we're going to cruise on down to Georgetown. And that's where we got our first yard today. So I'll be back. We'll have some fun today. Excuse me. We'll try to do some filming. Oh, excuse me. We'll get the we'll get the, uh, the Gravely out on a yard doing some work today. Uh, maybe do some trimming videos or something. And um, we'll take it from there. Did you guys check out the prank video I did of my son? Um, I pranked the crap out of my son yesterday, put a video up. So you guys gotta check that out. It's Dad Pranks Eight Year Old Son. Uh, awesome video, man, awesome video. So please check that out, like it. It makes my son feel really good. Uh, he's a superstar, so um, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Well guys, I'm at my first house and I just realized I forgot my tripod. Um, so what I did is, the county's coming and picking up the uh, branches and stuff for free. So I piled up all the branches real fast over there by the garbage can. Hopefully they'll take it. They might not though. Um, they don't like to take it from us because you know we're making a living out here and it's not their job to clean up after us. Um, but seeing that I put it over there, maybe they'll think it's the neighbors and they'll take it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my uh, 42 Gravely and I'm gonna go back and forth and use it as a blower and I'm gonna blow all the leaves down to here and then I'm gonna use my Troy Built and I'm just gonna bag it up and throw it into the garbage can so that way the leaves are as chopped up as possible. The backyard gonna do the exact same thing. I don't think we're even gonna weed eat today. I think we're just gonna edge. We're gonna edge, we're gonna blow. Uh, we're gonna mow, we're gonna bag, and then we're gonna blow again and uh, be out of here. So let me see if I can find a place that I can put this camera that it'll stay safe and um, maybe we'll be able to do some filming. This really sucks to not have a tripod, but uh, I don't wanna let you down. Now, a buddy of mine asked me how well my Troy Built TB360, how well it vacuums, TB360. And so I figured, well, I'll one-hand it and show you, I guess. Unless I could do this. There you go. That might work. All right, let's bag up some leaves. This is some uh, pretty thick stuff.
back. Pull back. There you go. Get back, dudes. That's how it vacuums. Pretty good. And I blew all the stuff in. I'm just gonna bag it up with the Troy built. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run over the whole yard with my uh, zero turn, just to finally chop whatever I miss. I'm not going slow enough to get 100% of everything. I'm just trying to get the bulk up and then I'm just gonna run it over with the Troy built or with the Gravely zero turn and uh, then that's it. Blow it off and this front yard's done. Quick, simple, easy. Let's see if I can set this up and keep doing some more for you. Let's see if that works out, huh? I'm trying, guys. Another question you guys might have is, how well does it mulch? Well, let's let's mulch. Why not? What the hell? Got nothing to lose. Hold on a second here.
Okay, so that's how it mulches. Leaves a little trail, but I'm going a little bit faster too than I probably have to, and I'm one-handing it, so it's kind of a pain. Um, but I mean, this was covered in leaves, like it was there, and now it's really not. And if you come through with your blower, you could spread those little trails out. So I mean, it seems to be doing pretty good. Um, so, I don't know. I'm going to go over this with the zero turn, so I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to finish this. I'll just mulch this up, and then I'm just going to go over the whole yard with the zero turn just to finally shred everything. And, um, I mean, it takes like 30 seconds, and then um, I'll be done. So, I'll be right back. Man, guys, I was going nuts looking for this. See, this is the side chute for the, uh, for the mower. So, I figured, what the hell? Now, I'm going to show you guys how, uh, how it side shoots, too. I couldn't find it anywhere and normally I keep my side chute in my bag but what had happened was I forgot and I hooked it all up and I bagged my first set of leaves and then I dropped it in there so I had to dump the can out into the bed of my truck onto a tarp and then go fishing for it and man you'd be surprised how that side chute can hide but uh here let me show you guys how this thing side shoots Hold on a second here. Let me, let me put you down. Put this together real quick. All right. Let's uh. Well, let's do it. <laughs> Okay, so if all you can do is use a little mower, that's what it can do side shooting. Not bad. <laughs> I 
It's got some power, man. I mean, it didn't even try to slow down. Even that big old clump of crap that was there, pine cones and little twigs and everything. I mean, it just minces it up. If I took a blower to this yard right now, it would be acceptable considering how bad it was. Uh, but that's not how I roll. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my zero turn. I'm gonna go over it. I'm gonna chop it up a little bit more fine, get rid of all the little trails and um, then I'll blow it. And you know, then it's gonna look really nice. It'll look really nice. So that will be the goal. So let me go ahead and get on my zero turn here and see what I can do. Okay, so my customer just came out, and uh, that's why I shut the camera off, but, uh, because, you know, I don't want them to be on film, but uh, she paid me, and she gave me a Valentine's Day gift. Huh? Is that not the coolest? I love my customers. Okay. Uh, they're still here in their car, so when they pull out, we'll go back to filming. No, well, we're done, and this took entirely way too long, but we got some good videoing, and that's what it was about today. Um, for this yard, I wanted to kind of showcase that TB360 some, and so I got to do that, even though I forgot my tripod. Um, I mean, you know, leaves are still coming down a little bit here, a little bit there. But uh, for the most part, when she came out, her and her um, friend came out, uh, she paid me. She said the place looked great and uh, gave me a cupcake, so she's real happy. And that was before I uh, blew it off. So now I got it, you know, final blow off here. The backyard is, the backyard, I didn't do anything but blow. I blew the entire backyard. This why this is why I want to get a bigger blower. I'm finding myself with my, um, my, uh, what the hell do I have? I have the steel BR350, and it just, it's got good power for dry stuff, but anything wet, it's just not enough, man, so... I need to get something that could push more volume. Uh, so what I did is I just blew this entire backyard to the fence and there's a huge ditch there, uh, drainage ditch that nobody maintains. It's just nothingness. And so everything went against the fence and then I flipped it over the fence and just let nature take its course and get rid of it all. So but this backyard was actually covered in pine needles um, from these pine trees here and covered in those leaves. Um, well, that's pine. That's pine tree too. No, that's not pine tree. No, that's got a dead pine tree hanging in there. That I'm not sure what those leaves are. There probably aren't any on the ground here, because I blew them all away. But uh, I mean, all that was just covered. And so this is the third time I've done this yard. Um, I did. I did the roof of the shed. I did the roof here. I did all that. Um, what about probably three months ago did a house wash blew off the roof cleaned up the yard did all that one day and then she hired me to come back and I came back like uh, four weeks later did a cleanup leaf cleanup it was uh, a mess it took me a little while and now three weeks later three weeks go by and I'm back and so today wasn't really bad at all um, like I said I didn't even do anything to the backyard I just blew and flipped and so we're good there um, and the county did not take those this time that'll actually be tomorrow today in this neighborhood that truck I thought was the county truck that takes that stuff was not that was actually the uh, uh, company the ABC waste until that, that comes in gets a uh, trash pickup all right, so it's 11 o'clock, so this yard took me exactly two hours to do with filming. <laughs> Should have taken me about an hour. Uh, now, the correct way to do this, I would have really, I would have edged it, blew it in like I did, and then I would have just attacked it with the zero turn, got it all down here to the bottom, then I would have just bagged it up with my 21 inch or raked it up and just been done with it a lot faster than all the dicking around I did with the you know, with the bagging and bagging first. And I mean, I went about it the hard way, the long way, but it made some good good footage. And maybe you guys can make a decision as to whether or not you want to purchase that TB360. That Troy built TB360, 190cc engine. It doesn't stop, man. And uh, comes, with the, comes with the bag, comes with the side discharge chute. Uh, mulch is like a champ. 
It's rear wheel drive. It's got um, almost like Toro's personal pace, where the more you move the handle, the, the faster it'll go. So that's kind of cool. I like that a lot with this machine. And um, it was $369, so I like that too. That's, that's a good price. Uh, so anyways, I'm gonna run over here to uh, Circle K, grab me a fresh cup of coffee, and we're gonna cruise on up the road and go do another one. So hang in there, fellas and gals, and uh, I'll be back.